For this project, you just need garbage bags, scissors, and some tape. And you can get all of these at the dollar store. Now with garbage cans, one end is normal, and then you go to the other end, it's all bunched up. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this end piece off. It really doesn't matter if it's all jagged or anything like this because we have to trim it up later. Now lie this out on your table and find the top of the bag. You'll be able to tell which one that is because it's probably the only one that's pretty much straight. Everything else will have like jagged cut lines from where you just cut it. You're gonna grab one corner of your garbage bag and then bring it to the edge to make a triangle. So if you remember back in school, this is how you made a perfect square. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along this edge so that we have, we start with a square. So I'm gonna cut this and I am gonna cut a little bit in because this is really jagged. So I'm gonna cut about an inch inside of that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this side because here you can see it's not really lined up. Once you have that all cut, we're gonna start folding. So now we're gonna take this end here and we're just gonna fold it all the way to the other side. There's gonna be one very important thing that you need to know while doing this. All of the cut ends need to be on one side. So we don't wanna ever fold a cut end where there's a folded end. So I'm gonna take this again same thing, here's my cut side, and we're just gonna keep it like this and fold it like that. Now the reason why I mention that is because we pretty much have to stop here. If I were to keep going, you'll notice that I'll take this end, and if I go like this, now I have a folded edge with a cut edge, and that is not gonna work because it will ruin your whole web. So you will need to keep it um, at the size where all of the cut sides are on the same thing, okay? So now what we're gonna do is take our point and we're gonna fold it over like that really easily. So just get this lined up. This is what it should look like once you have it folded over and we're gonna go ahead and just cut this. And now we're gonna make a curve. We're gonna cut like a half of a C across here. So I'll go ahead and cut this. So we're gonna go down and then back up. Now, how deep you make this cut is gonna determine how pointy the edges of your uh, web is because this is pretty much the end of the web, the edges. Now we're gonna cut our lines going straight across. So again, do not cut on the folded side. We're gonna cut on this side. So I am gonna make a cut straight across. And because we're going on a downward angle, I am gonna stop just a little bit before the end of that first one. So right here, I'm gonna stop right about there, and we're gonna trim this off going on a downward angle. Okay. So it should look like that. Now, when you get to the very end, usually what I do is I'll make one cut straight up, and then I go on an angle for the other one. So it's like that. And now we can open up our web, get this whole centerpiece open here, just kind of shake it out. And this is what it should look like when you are all done. You can make this with white garbage bags as well. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video.